Hey there, Sharon Hornells from here with my shake, my morning shake. Welcome to day 23 of our BU 365 day challenge. Doing one thing every day that continuously or actually improves us just a little bit. Becoming who we're becoming. We're always becoming something, right? I say let's choose what we want to become and work on that just a little bit every day. So this month, January 2022, we are focusing on our physicality, things that have to do with our physical environment, our physical bodies, etc. Yesterday, I think we talked about hydration. So did you drink any more water yesterday? Did you share how many and how much water you drink right now? Well, today we're going to talk about nutrition. Now, nutrition is, of course, a huge subject, right? There's, there's industries built around the topic of nutrition. And if you look at the dieting industry, that's even bigger than nutrition. So we could... We could go down different rabbit holes and different um, discussions about nutrition, and I'll share uh, probably seven or eight of the, the overall things that most of us know already, but the question is, are you doing these things? I will say that in my personal experience, I have learned that nothing impacts my physical well-being, my health, uh, anything more than nutrition. I'd like to say movement, but that's not true. People uh, are convinced that exercise is the way to be super duper healthy, but that's not it. Uh, it's actually what we put in our body is the fuel and the energy that determines everything. So just like the old computer saying, garbage in, garbage out, same with our bodies, garbage in, garbage out. Fortunately, a lot of our food sources these days are not very nutritious and they're pretty much garbage. So we'll talk about that tomorrow. We'll talk a little bit about supplementation and some of the things that I actually do to make me feel better. And here's the, the biggest, most important lesson of everything we talk about this year. You have to take everything that you learn or see or anyone shares with you, including me, with an absolute positive grain of salt and skepticism and ask yourself, well, what does this mean to me? What is, is this right for me or not? It's like all the different diets that come down the pipe and I've tried like a lot of them. Most recently I tried keto and keto is the exact opposite of what works for me. Now I used to think high protein diets were what worked for me and it turns out that that's the absolute worst thing for my body and my body chemistry and for my results. Did I lose a lot of weight fast on high protein diets? Yes, but is it right for me? No, it's totally not. I actually, it turns out, and I'll just share a quick story about this. Over the years, and if you look at my timeline, I've had huge physical challenges. I mean, health challenges. I had a sudden cardiac arrest in 2010. And uh, <clears throat> after that, I did a lot of things with respect to my nutrition, my, my movement, my exercise, nutrition, hydration, all of the things that we need to do to stay healthy and actually take care of ourselves. And back then I went on a low carb, high protein diet, lost a lot of weight, got in, in good shape, exercised every single day for, for a decade. It's been over a decade now. Um, but uh, in 2017, I still found out that that was not the right eating style for me, the right nutrition. I have had a arthritis flare up and some challenges where I, I couldn't walk, I couldn't get out of bed. I mean, my hips and my, my ankles and my knees were so bad, I, I literally couldn't get out of bed to go to the bathroom. Very humbling, very, very frustrating, very embarrassing, very painful. So I went online because we have the internet now, unlike in previous times when I've had health challenges, like in my 20s, I could go on the internet and I could research and I could ask my friends for help. So I made a quick little video and it turns out one of my friends is a nurse, uh, was a nurse for 25 years and uh, knows all these different holistic medicines and things. And she turned me on to the idea of eating for my blood type. Now, I'm not recommending this for you. I'm just saying you need to go out and explore and learn and figure out for yourself what works best for you? What what eating style works best for you? What is most nutrition nutritious for you? My whole point of that story is within three weeks of switching to, finding out what my blood type was, switching to eating according to that blood type plan, I was out of bed and walking pain-free and easily and effortlessly going to the bathroom. Um, I had some other challenges, some eye challenges and things which continued to deteriorate, but that had nothing to do with the nutrition and eating for my blood type. So it took me 50 some years, but that's what worked for me. 
I don't know what's going to work for you. Each of us are different. Each of our experiences, each of our body chemistries, everything. Uh, and everybody will try to sell you their solution, just like coaching and gurus. But that doesn't mean it's the right solution for you. You have to test and tweak and poke and prod yourself and figure out what's right for you. So our action item today is to share in the comments below your philosophy about nutrition. Um, I used to live to eat and I changed my philosophy to I eat to live. I consume to transfer energy into what I need to have the energy level that I want. That's my current philosophy. It used to be I live to eat because I did. I live to eat. I used to love food and cooking and all these different things. So share. So what we're going to do today is share in, our, in the comments below what your philosophy about nutrition is. And I want to share just, um, I got this, I think it was from Mayo Clinic too, a list of eight things that we should do. And actually, actually there was a, there were 29, but I cut off at eight because I'm like, I'm not sharing 29 things. But most of these we know, right? You know, eat protein at every meal. Um, nutritionists recommend a balanced diet of fruit and vegetables, lean protein, whole grains, and healthy fats. Well, duh. I would say do not follow the eating pyramid. It is a scam and a lie, and that's a whole topic we could get into. But being in the food industry, I learned some things, the dark side of many industries. Every industry has dark sides. And uh, I learned that the food pyramid is not created to make us healthy human beings. So don't follow that. Find what works for you. Um, you know, eat oily fish, eat whole grains, eat a rainbow, eat from, um, eat your greens, include healthy fats, use extra virgin olive oil, eat nuts, da 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 da. So <coughs> it's easy to go online and Google whatever you want to find out what's, you know, I Googled what's, what's the best health, most healthy eating practices for, for women over 60. You can Google whatever you want. Nowadays, information's at our fingertips. There's no lack of information. It's what we do with it that counts. So that's our little spiel on nutrition. I want to hear your nutrition philosophies in the comments below. Share them. Hey, like I said, mine was live to eat, so it doesn't get much worse than that. So share openly what you feel and what you think and what you believe about nutrition and how it impacts your physical beingness. Have an awesome day. I'll be with you tomorrow to do one thing every day that improves us.